And if you're in the market looking for an insect swarm procedural system, Robin has just created one which is super useful. And for anyone who's thinking about getting this, currently this is doing a 30% off. This insect swamp system comes with 21 different animated low poly insects that you can play with. At the same time, it, this also ships with an attraction and an avoidance system. So for anyone who's thinking about getting this, there's going to be a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can download it and start working with it. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. And when Blender simply open right here, all you need to do to get things going is to go over to edit, go over to preference, then go over to where you have your file path and add the insect swarm procedural insect system to your asset browser file path. And once you have that done, click on the bugger menu, click on save and close your preference. Next thing you need to do is drag out the new panel and switch over to the asset browser. And once you do that, if you click on the drop down, you'd now notice that we have the insect swarm. The insect swarm comes with a lot of insects that you can play with from flying to crawling ones and you can also choose to drag and drop them within your viewport to start playing with them. But then if you like to play with the swarm, then you have two types, the flying swarm and the crawling swarm. You've also got the centipede one, which we're going to take a look at soon. And how the flying one gets to work is very similar to what you have with the crawling one. And this works like this, that if you click and drag onto your viewport, you can now preview the swarm flying across your scene. So if we press the playback button, you can see all of these instances flying, and you can press the playback button to stop that. And how you populate this is very simple. Drag out a couple of these ones into our scene and we're going to store them into a collection. So once we have this, press M on the keyboard, add a new collection and name the collection. In this case, we're going to name this the flying insects. And once you have that, click on OK. And then if you select the flying swarm, if you now go over to the modifier section, you would notice that we have an insect collection. If you scroll all the way down, we have a guidance curve, we've got the avoidance, and we've also got the attraction. And because we want this insect right here to be the insect within the flying swarm, we can click on the drop down and add those insects here. Next thing which we might want to do is to make sure that all of the ones that we have here, which are within the collection, are hidden. So we're going to turn that off. And then if we press the playback button, you can now see, let's bounce this back, press the playback button. You can now see that all of these insects are flying. If you like to preview this, of course you can. At any point in time, you like to make changes to this so you can play with the amount of insects that you want to get. You can also proceed to play with the skill. So depending on what you want, you can play with the skill. You can randomize the skill. You can also play with the initial spread, the seeding. And of course, you do have a couple of properties within the movement section that you can also choose to play with. And in terms of guidance, if you like this to be guided by a curve, you can throw in that curve in there and get this working. So in this case, what we're going to do is to create a simple curve and then we can select the flying insect swarm, go all the way to where we have the guidance, click on the drop down and add the curve that we just created. And because we want the insect to fly through this curve, we can also turn on the use guidance curve. And if we set this all the way back, press the playback button, you can now see that these insects follow the guided curve. So depending on what you're trying to make, you can definitely go to town with this. At the same time, you can play with the avoidance collection and also an attraction collection. This would simply make the object attract or avoid certain parts. So the flying insect swarm and also the crawling swarm are pretty similar. So just in case you're thinking about working with this, these are certain properties and things that you need to know about them. Now with that said, let's take a look at how you can work with the centipede. And for this, we're going to create a brand new scene, create the monkey head, and we're going to drag out a new panel, which we're going to set as the asset browser and click on the drop down one more time, switch to the insect, and we're going to drag in the centipede. So how the centipede one works is a little bit different from what you get with the flying swarm and the crawling swarm. And for this, what you basically need to do is to create a path, as this simply works with a custom path and a surface collection. So for this one, we're going to have the object selected, tap M on the keyboard, and we're going to call this Susan. And once we have that there, the next thing which we need to do is to create a custom path. You can of course go ahead and make modifications to this if you want. And once you're done, select the centipede generator setup, and then you can click on the surface collection, select Susan, which is the one which you've made earlier, and you can select the custom part. So in this case, this is a not part which we've just made and we're going to click on that to make that selection. Now, once you have this going, you can select whatever that you have inside, which includes the centipede tail, the legs and also the head. And you can tap H on the keyboard to hide them. You can, of course, also go ahead and hide this, but this is potentially going to also hide the original centipede itself. So once you have this, press the playback button and you can see 
the centipede moving. So just in case you're trying to create the centipede, you can now create the centipede across a given path. You also have some interesting properties that you can play with. So let's go ahead and move this backwards a bit. And from here, you can start making some changes. If you like to play with the skill, you can play with that. So let's say, for example, we like to reduce the skill of the centipede. If we like to increase the speed at which the centipede travels, we like to increase the length. We can also proceed to do that. And you can also play with the walking pattern and get some very interesting stuff working for you. So this is it. If you're thinking about working with a procedural insect tool, then the insect swarm is a very interesting one. And I would definitely suggest that you go ahead and check it out. Currently, they are doing a 30% launch offer, which is running out. So just in case you like to get this, right now might be a better time for you to proceed to grab it and save on 30% of this tool currently that it is on sale. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.